Hi y'all, welcome to Bean Crazy Custom Creations. I'm Miss Francis. Now, um, this is going to be the starting of part three of the clocks. Let me get this big light turned out. And I can open the curtain up. It'll give us some more natural light in here. If I can reach them. Okay, what I've done is I got some, I don't know how many sheets was in it. I don't know if it even tells you. But I got some rice paper. Floral. This is for the next clock. Now, what I want to do is doctor it up a little bit. I want a little sparkle in it. Let me see if I can turn that other light on. If I can find the switch for it. There it is. Okay. Get my hair out of the way. I just want to... I took some Duraclear gloss varnish. I put in some eye candy 14 karat nugget gold nugget because i want to put some gold sparkles in these in this rice paper before i put it and let it dry before i put it in the clock so this is going to be the first portion of part three the third clock so don't want a bunch I just I just want to highlight it some in some spots I like this uh, peony one I was thinking about just the the center of the flower and some gold Sorry, I got a runny nose today. I don't know what the deal is. I hate winter time. It's starting to get cold here. A little bit. Not as bad as it is in some other places. I just kind of want to do the center of the flower and maybe the outer edges of the flower in the gold and I think that'll be fine that'll give it some a little bit of sparkle I have torn it up with my hands instead of there are some still little square pieces but you know I kind of I was kind of just trying to make it look like it wasn't so the edges weren't so square. Um, I'm going to put it in some clear resin first on there and then so I can stick my numbers down that I made. And uh, I will let this dry first. I'm just trying to highlight the flower a little bit in the gold. I put it on some wax paper because I didn't know. It, it may make it. I'm hoping it will be okay once it dries. I'm trying not to put it on real thick. I could have went upstairs and got my Mod Podge, but I figured this would work just as well 
as the Mod Podge would, so I figured that would, I'd just use it instead. I'm trying to put it on really lightly. I did tear some of the flower out, but you know, I didn't want, I really didn't want blunt edges, so that's the reason why I tore it out like that. Need a better brush, really, with a thinner point. I'm really just trying to use the point of this one. And that's pretty much all I really wanted to do to it. And I may put just a little bit of sparkle on the leaves. You know, lightly. On the leaves. I kind of want some sparkle in it. Because I'm going to pour the back of it in SRC white so it will show up. Got a runny nose and an eye that wants to water this morning. I don't know what the deal is. I got a video I gotta get up and I gotta I can't start the clock today because then I won't have a place to do my live tomorrow so I'm just gonna have to deal with it just get some gold on it I just I know it'll take a little while to dry. I wish I'd uh, not went so thick on the lines. Now it's gonna, but I, like I said, I can't start the clock today. I gotta let this dry. And I will need to move this out of the way so I can have a room to do whatever I'm going to do for my live on Friday, so. Oh, God bless it. And nose and eye and just not, not really doing okay today. All right, I just wanted you to see what I was doing. So I will finish this and then start the, probably start on it on Saturday. And if I don't have plans with my kids, or with my son and my grandkids, I will start this on Saturday. All right, I just wanted you to see what I was doing. We'll be back. Good morning, everyone. It's Saturday morning, and I'm going to start my clock number three. Okay, I mixed up. As soon as I get the hair off the outside of the glass so it doesn't go in. I mixed up um, 200 mil. Um Hopefully that's enough to just cover the bottom of the clock so I can set the numbers. Here is my flower that I kind of jazzed up with some gold in it. I do think that I'm going to sprinkle some mylar flakes in there, but I'm not sure 
exactly what color. I had picked out some pinks, but there's more purplish, maroonish color in there than there is pink. So I'm thinking I might go over there and look through my Mylar Plex and see if I can find a purple. So let me do that real quick and then we'll come back and get this poured and get the numbers and everything set. All right, I picked out this purple, and it is Intergalactic by uh, the lights of Glitter Hippo. So it may be a little too bright, but I'm going to roll with it. Now let me get you down because we're going to pour the first layer in. Sorry, that plastic is right in the way, but if I don't keep my laptop covered with plastic, I get epoxy all over the mouse pad. So we're going to pour this in and spread it around. This may not be enough. I'm hoping it will be, but it may not be. I just want to set the flower and the numbers, but I wanted to have the clock all covered first before I did that. Because I, I don't want the numbers sticking out on the other side because I didn't get epoxy under them and I've done that before. I have done it before and I don't want to do it again. It was my mistake. So the number the numbers come with the clock mold. You get a little mold for the numbers. And I made them up in advance in glow in the dark colors, in case I didn't tell anybody that on the last videos. That's what I did. Now Let's get this all, I don't know if I want to use that to spread it around or not. I want it to go all the way around the clock here. And I'm, it's sitting on two leveling boards now. <laughs> According to them, it's level, but you know, you know how the leveling boards go. I don't have to tell anybody that, you know how they go. So, just trying to make sure I get it all the way around to the edges. I may have to make some more up because I need the center to be filled too, somewhat. But I know it's going to go up a little bit once I start sticking numbers in there and and getting my uh, flowers in the, my flower pattern in there. Try to get it over here so I can get some around the edges here so I can set my numbers in. I did mark the back of the clock with some paint, so a gold marker because I measured and that's where I want the 12, the 9, the 3, and the 6 to go. So I figured I would mark it and that would make it easier for me to set them and make sure I got them. Yeah, I think I'm about to make up a uh, just a little bit more. I don't want any little fish eyes here. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so I mixed up about oh, two, a little over two ounces more. It looks cloudy, but it should be fine. And it does have a lot of bubbles in it. I didn't stir it that fast. I don't know what happened there. 
but I don't want these spots to be open like this. It shouldn't be. Should have been enough to cover everything, really. I can get it to cover everything, really. I'm trying to get as much of it scraped out of this cup as I can. I think I'm pretty much covered here. Do you see some little pieces of fluff of some sort in there? God bless it. And I did, I did go ahead and run the tape over there twice to get anything that could possibly be in there out. All right, let me get my little tool which I'm not real good about clean. I should clean these tools better. It's got some glow-in-the-dark stuck to it. Or green. Who knows? Pick it off so I can use this tool to go around the outer edge and make sure I don't... Nope. And I just tore part of the point off. There's something right here. I don't know what it is. I will get my long net lighter out once I get everything set in place. Because I'm sure I'm going to have some bubbles pop up when I start. There's another piece of some kind of fluff. It doesn't want to come out. All right. All right, let's let's set our numbers here. So we're going to start with the number 12. And this part is the messiest part cuz it gets I get it all over my gloves. I'm trying to not I don't want them touching the outer edge if I don't have to have them touching. Oh. Darn it. Just trying to get it even. My two looks a little. There we go. It is what it is. I'm not perfect. I will set my six. I'll use my tool to move it around. Try and get it lined right in the center of the six. Okay. Let's 
Right. Five. And please don't scream at me because I'm putting them in backwards. Because this is the back of the clock. And I have to make sure that they're turned going the right direction here. they're gonna have some bubbles come on down a little bit okay Go back just a little bit. There we go. And maybe up just a little bit. Okay. Um, I'm going to stand up to see if it's gnawing. I don't know why my three looks kind of out of whack here, but let's move it up some. Okay, mine's right in the center there. All right. Put my number two in. Put my number one in. move them around where I want them in a minute. Let me get all these others in. And these are glow in the dark. Now, the darker colors don't glow as well as the lighter colors do like these the five and the seven is going to glow really well you got moved here why'd you move i think um if we could do it i might have the seven a little too close i'm trying to make sure that eights i've got a bunch of bubbles um Tim could move up just a little bit and over. You know, it wants to, it doesn't want to stay right there. It wants to float away. I should have waited till it was a little more tacky and then stuck them in there. Looks a little close, really. I want a little bit of space between them because they're going to float together load part anyway so let's turn my one a little bit I might be able to go up a little well not real close but I need it far enough out of the way when I put my flower in that it's not I'm just eyeballing it it may not be, it's not going to be perfect. They're in there. 
about as perfect as I'm going to get them. Okay. So let's try and get our flower in there. Now I did cut it out some. What? Because I had to cut some pieces a little bit more. Because I, uh, you know, it was running into my numbers and I can't can't really have that. I think I got the, yeah, I got the leaf out enough, I think. But I've got to get it pushed down and smoothed out so I don't have air bubbles underneath it. I had to, I called Miss April on this because I had uh, needed to know whether I, Miss April with Dragon's Address as Craft Sodium, if you ever had any questions about that, r putting rice paper in resin, she will be able to answer your questions. Now, if I was not going to back this in the white, then she told me I should paint the back of the flower white so that it would show up better. So I chose to use the SRC polyurethane resin on the back. First of all, it won't take me as long to wait on the clock and you know, I still have one more to do and I think it's, I don't know, I mean, I don't know that much what my other daughter-in-law, Toby, likes. I know she likes plants and flowers because she's always planting gardens and uh, wildflowers. Um, so I was thinking about doing hers in dried flowers, really. Because I was thinking that would be probably an awesome way to do hers. I do have some really pretty ones that Miss uh, Miss Billy sent me some that are really pretty. I got some from Miss Cynthia that are really pretty. And I have some that I dried from a bouquet that I was going to put in a pyramid that I sprayed with a clear coat. So I'm thinking, you know, I might use either one of those and make a, make her a flowered, a wildflower clock. Because I think she would like that, really. I'm trying to make sure that I get the air bubbles out underneath this. I'm working on it anyway. And then I have my little lettering to put down over here that says scent of peony because that's what these flowers are and that was one of my mama's favorite flowers and this is going to go to my older son and his wife so this is theirs I'm hoping it it will I just have to keep working with it because I want I don't want any bubbles under it and I want it to lay flat and my nun is moving again here. Alright, we're going to put this in there. It's going to look backwards, but that's okay. That's okay. We'll get it. Because it'll look fine on the other way. The other side. I did kind of go over those letters with some gold, too. And what I want to do is just sprinkle some the purple mylar flakes in there okay hopefully 
I'm doing okay. I don't know. My 12 looks like it's... Maybe I need to move that stick. I got a stick under it. Looks like I could have some more down, more down here than I got up there. So much for the tray being level. I think I might, you know, I don't know. I think I might only have. I'm hoping I don't have a bunch of bubbles. I kind of need that to move down around that nib so it's not... Because I cut that out. I cut it out specifically for it to fit around there. I figured, first of all, that would help hold it in there. I hope I put that in the right way because I'm seeing a lot of gold on this side doggone it nope it's still there okay just checking thought maybe I put it in the wrong way now I'm gonna have to yeah right there oh my gosh can hear a little man up there going, doing his whining bit. Okay, so now I want to just clean my gloves and lightly sprinkle the uh, Mylar flakes in there. Hands are still sticky. Okay. could use a spoon, but I'm sure a spoon's just gonna, gonna do just the same. Doesn't have to be a bunch. I just want some color, a little bit of spark, more sparkle. I don't need it much. I think that's enough. I don't really want to go wild with it. So I will just, I've got some other projects to do down here. So I will just sit here and kind of babysit my clock. Make sure I don't have any bubbles pop up. I want to make sure I can get them if they do. Alright, we will be back when we're ready for the last coat. And then I will be working on what I'm going to do for the next clock. Looking at my dried flowers and seeing what I got. We'll be back. Good morning, everyone. Um, 
we're gonna finish this clock today. Yeah, I got something white in it. Uh oh. Gonna get that out. Even though I'm pouring a white background. Uh, let me get you down. I've got my. I got. Well, actually, I got a little over six and a half on that one. I got almost six and a half on that one. Ounces of the SRC uh, white. Yes, okay. Oh, I need to get a pair of gloves. Okay. That'll finish this one off, and I'll be ready to start on the next one. I kind of like to get them done. Two of them have to be shipped. So... I need to get them finished so I can get them wrapped up, find a box that all those gifts are going to fit in. Okay. I'd actually like to, if it wasn't in that month, I guess I could fly there. Okay. Whew, tummy's rolling already. Well, I had with my coffee this morning and my tummy's going to town here. This is probably more than I need for the clock, but I got some other stuff over there just in case. Let me get my yeah, custom custom real really quick with that stuff. Get it off of there. I need to be cleaned. These are my epoxy glasses. I don't they're just a pair of one twenty five reading glasses. I don't wear my regular glasses because I don't want epoxy all over them. I hope this white will make this flower really show up. We'll see. I hope so. That's what Miss April told me anyway. So. Okay. it would take all of it but it sure did let me move this stick out I don't want it overflowing but I'd like for it to at least be level so I can start on my next one get this one taken out and um, lay it out, and then figured out that if you, <laughs> I thought it, after a few days it was hardened en enough that I could, um, prop it up against something. No, 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 no. 
because yesterday I had to take a heat gun and reheat the beach clock and lay it out flat. Because I thought setting it up would be fine and it was not. So it's laying out flat right now and that's how this one's going to go. It'll be laying out flat also. I'm not, not propping anything up because if I do, then I'll have something that's all, all jacked up. Oh, I used this well. Oh well. I don't think it matters. I used the cups I had marked for black. Oh well. I wiped them out. I wipe them out and reuse them. Looks well, clear to me. I don't see any black in it, so I think it'll be fine. wiped out Don't you overflow now. I guess I could take that stick out too. Now let's take that one out. And that one. Let's take all the sticks out. I don't think it's moving too much now because it's starting to. We'll see. It looks pretty full. Alrighty. That is, when that one's taken out, I will lay it flat and then uh, get this video up and then start on the next, the last one. Well, it's not the last one, but I'm not going to worry about mine right now because I don't, oops, get out of there. I don't want you in there. Anyway, um, I may decide to um, buy me some more Elvis Presley guitar picks to finish mine. <laughs> Sorry. It's morning. It's early morning. and I've got this like an early morning ritual for me wiping my nose. Uh, my other daughter-in-law likes wildflowers, butterflies. Um, so, I don't know if I'm going to do flowers. I'm thinking I might do just a full butterfly clock. This is kind of looking... But it looks full. It's just I can kind of see the one through the It doesn't matter what I do. I can't seem to get this stupid thing even though it says it's level I can't seem to get it where it actually is level. So did reform my little um, animals that I poured on Friday. I did them in regular epoxy. 
you get a little more time to work on regular epoxy than you do the polyurethane. Now these may be a little soft, I don't know. I may just trying to push it from the bottom so I don't break his feet or his tail off. Yeah, because his tail's not coming out like it should. Kind of hard to pull it loose here. There we go. Well, I do think it came out better with epoxy than it did. I got a little bit of over four around the tail, but that's it. There's the, there's the griffin, which is kind of like a lion, and that's the chrome, the Let's Resin Chrome Powder, and here's the phoenix. I did it in the same color. I just wanted to see how it would turn out if I did it in epoxy instead of polyurethane. Because you don't have time to make sure that everything's covered and everything's filled in like you do with epoxy. It's a little soft, but hey. There's the Phoenix. I think one of those is a dragon and one of these is Pegasus. But I'm not sure which one's which. I can't remember whether Pegasus had a tail. This one's got a little bit of over four, tiny bit. Nice and silvery. That's the holographic silver out of the chrome package. And then, yeah. I'm not sure on this one either. I'm not sure whether it's supposed to be a dragon or if it's supposed to be a pegasus. One of them's a dragon, one of them's a pegasus, I think. But this one's got like a, a fin. It actually has like a horn on its head too. That's the chrome blue. So those actually turned out better in the epoxy than they did the other. And I got one left over here that I need to pour some more in, which was another mold that Mr. Allen and Miss Jeannie sent me. So, I will be back when this is ready to be pulled out. I'm not going to sit here and ramble. I'll be back when it's ready. Alright. It's pretty cool to the touch. So let me get you down and we'll get it out. And cross our fingers that it turned out pretty. I hope. Alright, one more to do. And some bracelets and pendants. Be poured. Before the, at least the second week of December. Alright. Oh, I like it. I like it. Let me get you back up a little bit. It's got a few. Yeah, it's got some little bubbles on the front. I will fill those. With, I'll fill that right now with a little bit of UV. Yep. Yeah, I gotta get them where I can see them, though. Got one there, too. 
pop it out and fill it too. I thought I'd gotten all the air pushed out out from underneath them. Obviously not. There's another little, couple little ones. I don't know if I'm going to mess with those. The bigger ones, yes, I will fill those. Okay. I could do a whole top coat, but I don't really want to. So, where's my UV at? I don't know if there's any in this bottle. And I gotta get my UV light too. And I don't want to roll over my mold because I'll be using it again here in a few minutes. Uh, let me get another bottle because well we got another brand new bottle right there let's see if I can get some out of this though first I don't need a bunch I just need enough to fill those holes my tools and some paper towels so I have something to wipe Let's try not to make a big mess. Trying to kind of blend it in there. Yeah, I think I might have wiped that one right out. Back on it. I was trying not to. I was just trying not to make a big mess. I just wanted one little dot to fill that hole in. Let's get that above where I'm at. do this carefully if I can just not wipe off what's in the hole just wipe off the excess or just blob up the excess that's all I was trying to do is get the excess off I like it to look kind of smooth Kind of hard to do with air bubbles. Yeah, I think I blobbed that right out of there. God bless. Might not be able to fill them in. Or maybe I better fill them in a little at a time. Instead of trying to fill the whole thing in. 
because I don't want it all over the front of the clock. Alright, let's uh, let's put just a little bit in and then cure it. Are you empty? Yep. No. Let me go ahead and cure that. Yeah, I hope I don't end up with... I didn't end up... I mean, there's a few other little air bubbles, but not bad. I just want to cover the big ones. I don't... I'm not really worried about the little ones. I think it, uh, overall, it turned out really pretty. Let's hope the next one does. Because I want to do it in I should turn this upside down. And then I wouldn't have to have air come out of it. Probably longer than it needed, but okay, that's a little bit. It's a little bit better than it was. Let's do this other big one. I'm just, I just want to put a little bit in there. I don't want to squeeze a bunch. And I want it to go down in the. I want it to go down in the hole. Like people are up upstairs because I know that ain't my dogs making all that noise. I hear people walking around. I was trying to get it out from around the hole so it grew smooth. I got all kinds of pretty butterflies for the next one. Yep. I'm going to do some really pretty butterflies. Like those. I just have some really pretty ones. A couple little dragonflies. I, put a, I think I might put a couple little dried flower bouquets in there. And those are, I believe, from the Dollar Tree. I believe that's where I got them. Oh, 
bit about this too, but can't worry about all that. Gotta start another clock and move on. I did learn my lesson about leaning it up against something though. Let me get this finished and then I'll show you when I'm done. All right, here it is. I filled the three big holes and you can still, you can see it just a little bit, but is what it is. I think it's pretty and I think she'll, she'll love it. So let me do my shout outs. All right, I got Wanda's Blessed Creation. Stacy underscore the crafty cat. I can't see it because I covered it with the curtain. Hold on just one second here. Okay, I should know these by heart, really. Res C. Liz, India Brady Art, Art by Me, Andrew Walker, Billy Holman Creations, Cosmic Carol's Creations, um, at Artsy Doodles One, My Love of Crafts, Butch's Resin Creations, Dragons and Dresses Craftsortium, Created with Wingless Angels, TLC's Handmade Hayloft, Roseanne's Crafting Corner, Cormarine's Resin Art, Crafting with Carla, Cynthia's Crafts and More, and Prayers that your health is getting better, Miss Cynthia. Uh, Amy's Resin Corners, Corner. Sam I Am Resin Crafts. I'm not sure if Sam's even doing resin crafts anymore. I'll have to check that out. Kat Johnson. Mini Scenes GB. Easel Does It Studio. Martha's Craft Room. Ruby's Resin Studio, Custom Created Handmade Crafts, Mama's Hyphen Madhouse Hyphen Creations, Clear Creations, The Blue Elephant Gifts, Creepy Crafts, Gert Creates, Patricia's Crafting Corner, June's Sunshine Crafts, Reb Critter, Bright Star Creative, Artist Resin, The Resiner's Poorhouse, Lori, aka Midwest Meemaw. Um, I did have, I thought I had one more. I'll have to, I'll have to get it wrote up there. I'm not sure what it was, but see you on the next clock. Bye for now.